Hello and welcome to P.S. Such a Connection. I'm P. And I'm S. And we're talking about episode 5 of Nick's season of The Bachelor. Yes. So it starts off where it ended last week, which we didn't do a video last week because there was a sleet storm in our town, so we weren't together. We did watch, though. We were there. Um, I fell in love with Raven, just like she fell in love with Nick. Even more. I... As of this episode, I am entirely enamored with Rachel. I don't care about anyone else at this point. Just Absolutely. show me Rachel. I love her. We had a friend, Rachel, who we were trying to uh, get an audition. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure I would have been rooting for a Rachel either way. But she's not on, so... Yeah. So, yeah, they started where they left off with Taylor and Corinne's confrontation. Being all upset with each other. Caddy. Which, okay. I hate Corinne, but Taylor is awful. Yeah, she's not. And she's the one who said to him the first week, right, my friends hate you. Is that her? I think it's her. I don't remember. And, like, I don't know. She hasn't done anything, like, too annoying since then. But she's just kind of annoying. What she reminds me of is, like, those people who are in school to become a therapist. And they start diagnosing mm. everyone with everything. And, like, not everyone has everything. Yeah, um, she's just, I'm so tired, I don't know, I don't like her, but, and it, like, I don't like her any better than Corinne. Yeah. Know? So, like, even though Corinne is more overtly obnoxious, Taylor, like, their whole fight, I was like, I'm not rooting for either of you. Yeah. And I feel like that's the way that most of the girls felt, too. Yeah. But I started to root a little bit more for Taylor just because Corinne went and manipulated Nick. Mm -hmm. And it's so annoying to me to watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette be manipulated by the villain. Like, I just hate it. I hate watching it. It makes me sick to my stomach. You just want to jump into the show and be like, listen. She's lying. We've seen it all. We come from the future. Um, but that's how it is. Um, and then they go on a group date. Well, no. Doesn't Rachel's date first? was first. <gasps> Rachel's date was first. Okay, good. Yeah, so Rachel, that date was the best. It was a movie. We watched a, like, a rom-com in the middle of The Bachelor there. When he was making out with her in the middle of the French market and he was, like, walking and pushing her along as he was making out with her, like, God. For me, it was when the second line came on and they were so excited and they had these umbrellas and they were just like in sync well, with each yeah. other. Mm -hmm. And then like they like kissed and like were dancing and I was like, we've been transported to another universe right now yeah. where like everything is perfect. And they had so much chemistry and like the moves that they had together, like they were just so fluid and natural and it wasn't at all like oh where should i go now and and it was so like vibrant too like they weren't just like stepping in time they were yeah. like moving around each other and like working those umbrellas like it was a movie like a choreographed mm -hmm. they had to it was incredible and i like somewhat so i tweeted out during that is there any way that Rachel isn't our winner? Because I am just so convinced they're perfect for each mm -hmm. other. I will be so genuinely disappointed if she doesn't win now. And Rachel's one of the only ones who got the first impression rose who didn't like fall into the yeah. being insecure because they didn't get a one-on-one -on -one exactly. the next week or something like that. So like she 
she has to at least be in the top two. Oh yeah, clearly. But like, someone then tweeted at me, she doesn't win, but like maybe she'll be the bachelor. And I don't know who you are, but like, come on, <laughs> woman, spoilers. Yeah, and I don't How know do if know? that's even spoilers or if that's like them just being like, she's not gonna win, right? But it's just I the want way her to win. She said it so confident, like she had some sort of inside yeah. knowledge, and I was mm-hmm. like. Who are you? Um, they just look so good together. Nick is so in, and like, like he looks good with some of the other girls too. Yeah. But with her, it's like on this other level. I feel. Like. And he already said he was like, "When I meet your dad, yeah, what do I call him?" Like he already knows. And he was talking about how he's already gone to two fathers and asked for their hand in marriage. But he was basically implying that he was going to ask her father for her hand in marriage. Yeah. Unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong, which Rachel is too perfect for that to happen. Well, yeah. But, like, if Corinne burns the house down. Um, like, she dies. <gasps> Don't even say <laughs> that! <laughs> what? Well, that's the only way it can happen. Um. Yeah, that was an awesome date. And I loved that date so much because it's, like, something people would actually do. Yeah. And also it helped that we've been to New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So and we were like, we've been we're there. Like, that we've was us. There. We oh, were there. Oh, oh. yeah. That's where we fell in love, too. <laughs> no, we were in love long before that. And also, we're not actually lesbians. Just to clear that up. Yeah. Um, so, then they have the group date. Dude, we totally skipped the rose ceremony. Oh, right. The rose ceremony happened. I, it was my fault. I jumped the gun. Oh, no. It's fine. Um... So, yeah, Sarah and Astrid went home, and there was, like, all this, like, Taylor and Corinne and their confessionals being like, the other one's tote's gonna go home, and I'm gonna be so happy. Where- Which we knew wasn't gonna happen, yeah. because they, we knew they were going on the two-on-one, so not a lot of tension built there. Sarah was perfect. Sarah was perfect. And, like, we both called Josephine going home, and then, like, she didn't, which I don't have anything against Josephine. No, I just, I just feel like they don't really show her with them. And when they do show yeah. her with them, it seems awkward. Yeah. Him, not them. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So I just keep thinking she's going to go home, but I feel like she may just be a chase and like. Yeah. Um. So what happened on JoJo's season is like. We're, like, pretty sure Chase wasn't there until, like, episode five. And then, Mm -hmm. like, he kept getting chosen and he, like, made it to top two. And we were, like... Top three. Who is this guy? Oh, right. Robbie was the top two. Mm -hmm. I forgot about Robbie. Right. Top three. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, Sarah and Astrid went home, which Astrid was in my top four, but only because I thought it was her who's sitting next to Danielle M in the mm. promotion for next week, but it was actually... Vanessa? No. Um, Christina. Christina. Christina makes it to top four? No. Uh, it's happening next week. They just cut out the two other girls who were there. Oh. So they tricked me. But that's I'm excited fine. for but I'm next still week. Wrong, so. The promo was like the Nick crying. I was like, I'm so <laughs> I'm so excited to watch Nick cry. Is well, what you just said. Once he gets emotional, like I'm excited for. Mm-hmm. I'm, I want the emotions to come out. Just like like in today, how he was so excited for Rachel. I was like, yes. Oh, I loved how excited he was for Rachel. I'm excited for Rachel. Um. So. Now jump, because we messed it all up. I'm sorry. Going to, it's not your fault. Going to the group date where they went to the haunted house. I would have freaked out. I was scared just watching. And we were talking, like, you know, watching it, that things are rigged to move. Yeah. And it's clearly something you go to to be scared about. But, um... 
And, like, clearly no one touched the doll. Clearly no one took the doll. Like, it was moved. It yeah. wasn't any of them. But if I were in that house, I would be pissing myself. So frightened. And, like, I couldn't handle watching it. So I can only imagine mm-hmm. those girls. I'm surprised, like, someone didn't start crying. Because yeah. that would be me. I would be, like, curled up in a ball in the corner. I would forget to talk to Nick for the <laughs> yeah. entire night. Like... Sorry, Nick. I and I, was... I loved that Raven was the one who was like, hey, let's, like, go up alone to the girl's room where the doll was yes. so you can say you're sorry. <laughs> Je- uh, it was the best. It was so... And they... The, the like, thing, like, rattled and they were out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that has to be a gift. Oh, uh, it was great. And then I didn't like the mirror because... Too scary. No. That mirror, like, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe that mirrors are evil. And that mirror being there could let an evil spirit into my house. Like, they showed it way too much, and they did way too many, like, bullshit things with it. No, no, no. 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 Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Um, do you think anyone on the date had particular, like, had... A connection with him? Um, well, Raven told him she loved him. Which, okay, so Raven has made all of the mistakes this season. She was the first one to confront him about the villain. Yep. She was the first one to tell him that she loved him, and it's way too early. But I am so on board with her. I'm like, you do you, Raven. (laughs) Follow your heart. Do whatever you need to do. And, and I'm not getting was, mad at her for it. She did say it was an accident. Like she, Yeah, it just slipped out. She doesn't do it connivingly. Mm-hmm. Like, she's not like, well, I need to get his attention. So, yeah. I have to ta- so I have to, you know, complain about this person and tell him I love him. It's mm-hmm. always just like, if she's doing her thing. Yeah. And I also have this philosophy that, like, if you tell someone you love them, it doesn't mean you love them. It means, like, you're... This isn't going to make sense. It means that you love them, but not that you're, like, committed to them until it becomes, like, more. Like, you know, I love Steph, but, like, I have other friends who I also love. Like, you know? Yeah. I don't know if that made any sense. I love you is different than I'm in love with you. Yeah. Kind of. Well, she did say the moment I realized I was in love with you. Oh, did she? Yeah. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Uh, you know, you know, there, there are high emotions. I could see how it happens. Yeah. And probably a lot of the girls are thinking like that, but they just know not to say it. Yeah. But Raven is a genuine, perfect baby angel. So it just comes out. She, just yeah. naturally, she says how she feels. and She beats people with shoes if they fuck with her. So. Exactly. Um, and I could also say, so when that happened, she then got a little bit self-conscious when Danielle got the rose. Yeah. Because she knew it was kind of too early and it was kind of a little bit awkward. And so then she was a little bit like, oh man, like that wasn't good. I hope that didn't scare him away from her. I hope it didn't scare him away because she's awesome. And I think he has to see that, that it wasn't like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although she does show with the saying I love you early and the beating someone with a shoe plus Alexis saying she was afraid of Raven. It's like a little bit signs of crazy. But Alexis and Raven are like best friends. That's true. That's true. So, I mean, I hope they're best friends. They seem like they're best friends based off of yeah how they like are showing that. True. I'm sorry. I'm playing with my face. But, it, I mean, it does make sense that Raven would be the alien of any of the girls. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that's mostly just because she's so perfect that there's no way that she's fully human. Yeah. <coughs> I think so. Um, so, so yeah, Daniel M. got the rose. <laughs> which I felt almost like it wasn't like him... Showing that he was afraid of Rachel, but Rachel got this validation last week. Like, he, not like he was saying that he didn't have kind of the same feelings as Rachel, although I don't... Raven. Raven. 
even though I like don't think he's falling in love with her yet, but I think he thinks he could. Mm-hmm. But Daniel M didn't get the rose. She got the first one on one date, and since then she hasn't got a rose. So he wanted to give her the validation because Raven had it last week. Yeah. Right. So he didn't want to, like, double up, you know? Yeah. So I see why he made that decision. He's good like that. Mm Mm-hmm. This is the first time someone has... Or, well, it's not the first time that someone has gotten the rose twice, but it's the first time, uh... Two date roses, right? Well, no, because Daniel L. has gotten two date roses, but she Mm -hmm. got the group date rose, and then the one-on-one rose. So this is the first time on the one-on-one that he hasn't given it to a new girl. On the group date. Sorry, yeah, on the group date that gotcha. he hasn't given it to a new girl. Yeah. It seemed, though, a little bit... Just even, like, compared to Rachel's date, now between Danielle and Nick, seemed a little bit stale. To me, I was like, it, they just don't have the same, like, they look good together. I really like Danielle, but she's just a little bit. I don't know. There was that part where he was, like, tickling her or, like, going, like, the, sorry, you are ticklish. But, like, and she was, like, squirming and stuff. And I thought that was cute. But they don't, like, show that on the group dates. They just yeah. show, like, the conversation. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I didn't feel the same, but I'm, I feel the way you feel about Raven, about Rachel. I feel like you fall into the trap of every one-on-one date is who's going to win. No, for sure. Because last week I was like, Danielle! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but it's different this time. Mm-hmm. I, I do see what you're seeing yeah. with Raven this week. I didn't see it last week with Danielle L, but. I, yeah, I was like convinced with Danielle L, but, um. Yeah, and I definitely, like, fall victim to that. Every one-on-one, I'm like, look at them. (laughs) But, um, my mind has been changed with Rachel. And, and I, as, as much as the other ones can develop and probably will develop and they'll Mm -hmm. show us, like, romantic moments and, like, oh. Well, we know Rachel makes it to Finland. Yes. So... And hometowns. Yeah, definitely hometowns. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. So, um, so then there was the two-on-one date, which is, like, basically what this episode was revolving around. Yeah. With Taylor and Corinne, which I called the second week. I know it was going to be with Taylor and Corinne. I No, you called the, the first week. What was the pool week? The second week. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep, she called the second week. Yep. Um, so I knew it was going to be Taylor and Corinne, and I knew Taylor was probably going to go home. So, like, it wasn't a surprise to me, but it was really hard to watch. Like, it was just annoying. that they, they had my two animals that I am... Afraid of the most. That was Louisiana's fault. No, Louisiana is a perfect city. It's not Louisiana's fault. But there were alligators and crocodiles and snakes. And I can't do it. I know. I can't. And they showed that fucking snake. The same snake. They. Mm-hmm. I know it was the same snake, <laughs> but they were like, all right, someone on the camera crew, you fucking find a snake because we're going to show it on television 20 times yep. and make Pam shit her pants. Yep. It happens. When they were, like, walking in the woods alone, I was like... <laughs> like, um, I know there's a cameraman behind you, but that doesn't mean a snake's not going to bite you. That's true. Not that, like, in a group of people it would make that much of a difference. But still. Um, yeah, I didn't, I was like, the two-on-one is usually, even, like, even with two dramatic girls, like, it just wasn't as, like, you know, like, Corinne is, was, you know, gonna stay, because, but, and, like, I hate her and her, like, frizzy hair up here, and, (laughs) and her, like, 
flat out lying and her lying and manipulation and like not only that but also like okay i don't and we've made it clear like i don't like taylor but mm-hmm. what taylor was saying as belittling as it was had nothing to do with her intelligence level right her yeah. smarts and it had to do and like as much as like she is this kind of petty annoying girl she has you know whatever she does have knowledge about that stuff she like yeah. went to school for it she's told us a hundred times and like the emo- like i won't say it because it was said too much in the episode but Corinne just didn't understand what she was talking about. Yeah. She just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. And, like, Taylor definitely went about it the wrong way when Nick confronted her with the information. Oh, yeah. Because she was just like, no, I did kind of call her... (laughs) (laughs) I'm being Taylor. I didn't call her stupid, but, like, she didn't know what emotional intelligence was, so, like, She's stupid. Like, that's basically what she was saying. And that's not how you get out of a situation like that. Like, no. You have to kind of go at it. Like, she's lying to you. Like, I didn't say anything along those lines. I did confront her because she has been pissing me off. But I wouldn't have ever said anything like that to her. Yeah. And, like... Yeah, so I wasn't sad to see Taylor go. Like, yeah. It's fine. Although she's back. Right. The promo showed us. So we'll see what happens. It's I gonna... mean, she's not going to stay, but he's also not going to send Corinne home. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's going to be just, like, the Chad thing. Yeah, it's just going to be nothing. She comes back. I do feel like she'll be like, hey, you got to watch out for Corinne, and maybe that's why. She'll go and try and sleep with him, and then maybe she'll, he'll have his breakdown because of that. Maybe. I don't know if next episode is when she's going to go sleep with him, but. They're making out. He's crying, so. Yeah. And they made it out to look like that. He cried after yeah. that. But but they they lied. I I complain about the emotional manipulation of Corinne or like <laughs> whoever the villain is to the Bachelor or Bachelorette. But the emotional manipulation of the producers of this show is the worst manipulation that there is. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it was going, like you were going to plow into that. <laughs> And it just... What's that? Um, <sighs> jerking. Stop jerking us around is what I meant to say. And then yeah. the word jerking escaped me. Sorry. Um, um, so yeah, Taylor went home and she, not really. She didn't get into the black van of doom. She walked they, right back like, in. left her with the voodoo people. They were mm-hmm. like, bye. She got cleansed, and then she was like, let's go get dirty again. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we have to unceremoniously cross off people's faces. Um, and we'll be back next week. You can follow us on Twitter at Such Connection. We live tweet, and it's awesome. We're hysterical.